Hi guys, um, today I'm going to do pastel payroll, uh, a topic for computers, financial systems, and six. And then I'm going to deal with the mistakes that students do in the exam, and then how to avoid them and get 100% on pastel payroll. Pastel payroll carries anything between 80 to 100 marks. So let us look into some of the mistakes. Most of those mistakes are May, uh, are based on the codes that students do not capture on their pay slips. Now, the following codes are popular codes that always print out as missing codes or missing transactions on the pay slip of the students. Why they keep coming out? It is because they are not given sometimes the, the 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 examiner doesn't provide them for student to capture the student need to know that if the an employee has got a traveling allowance this code 6026 must automatically be captured if the person's got a medical aid benefit this code 6172 and 8002 must automatically be captured by student in their when they are processing their pay slip including when the company offers pension fund or there is pension fund in a company code 6410 must also be captured whether the ex the question paper tells you or not you have to capture this code this code you need to know them by heart or remember them when you arrive at the examination room now let us go and look at why i say you must capture them and how how to what will help you remember if you have to capture these transactions we're going to pull up a question paper and highlight the clues that will tell you that the following codes must be captured now here is our transaction setup list of the on the question paper now the transactions that will give you a clue that those codes must be captured immediately who are the following if we check here there is traveling allowance which means that code must be captured now we're gonna look for what if the employee also have pension fund now if you check there is pension fund the company's got pension fund there is medical aid already those all those codes must be captured remember uif it's uh, also a composer so certain uh, certain uh, transactions are automatically gonna pop up or automatically populate but see, uh, those ones that we highlighted these ones if not given to you you must automatically capture them they will make your life easy you will you will see your paisley printing without queries they are very 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 in, important now let us even go to the individual employee paisley instructions to see if those employees got traveling allowance medical aid or they've got a pension fund Okay, here is our Paisley. Let us look at Majorzi. Now, this is week one of Majorzi. And we're going to now uh, follow our clues. If you check here, Majorzi got traveling allowance. Already, that code, those codes that we talked about, they affect him. And then if we can move up also, if we can move up, my Josie got pension. They, uh, they've got pension. And I don't know why I changed my color. Let me, let me continue with my, my, my yellow highlighter. There's pension there. And even the other gentleman here has got pension. So we got pension for for both of them 
so they are affected by the, those codes they've got medical so if you capture this transaction at the pay slip but you don't capture they you don't capture these transactions then you're gonna have missing transactions not processed and then you might even sometimes end up with some missing the, the payslip coming out with no figures so please you have to capture them whether you are told or not let me show you something on that question paper now you see that sometimes the examiner gives you some codes but they don't give you all of them so you still you got 9142 and 6410 but you don't have 8002 you don't have 6126 so you have that's why i'm saying to you, you have to remember them and when you arrive here or arrive here next to the pension and medical remember to write them somewhere in your question paper so that when you go to process your pay slip you capture them okay let us pull one of the dummy pay slips from the demo company uh, so that i can demonstrate something to you so remember we talk about this code here you realize that there it is there there it is there there it is there there it is there and they were not even given they are not given to you in the question paper they are not listed you must remember to capture them because as long as the person's got traveling allowance medical aid a pension fund this code you have to capture them so that your print slip becomes clean and it prints it out queries Now, some students say, okay, so now, uh, what do we put there? What, 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 do we, what amount do we put? Remember, you don't put anything. You, they're going to automatically populate the amount. You just go to an empty column, capture the code, press your tab key, and then the code will automatically put the figure there. So you just capture them without the figures the figures will populate themselves automatically so remember you do not need to put figures there the figures will automatically populate from the transaction that you already have as long as you just capture them press the tab key and save you are safe to go okay guys remember the compulsory codes that we must capture and then those codes are triggered by the following transactions medical aid traveling allowance pension fund benefit and then sometimes it can be also uif it might be missing depending on the list of transactions that are given to you however uif sometimes it, it automatically populates but medical aid as long as the person's got medical aid fringe benefit traveling allowance and pension fund remember to add those codes and your pay slip is going to be as clean as possible and you will score maximum marks on those thank you i'm going to put another one on transaction setup